23 ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. I am Mike Hart. Here is a look at what we're following on this Monday. Kern County officially under the state's stay at home order. It went into effect at midnight. Governor Newsom made the announcement last week that if ICU capacity in newly formed regions fell below 15%, these restrictions will be put into place. Public operations now like hair salons, barber shops, museums, movie theaters, playgrounds and dining both indoor and outdoor are to cease during the shutdown. For restaurants, only takeout and curbside are available. Private gatherings of any size or kind are also not allowed. Mask wearing and physical distancing is required at all times. Worship services, though, may take place only outdoors. So there are more free COVID testing sites that have been set up tomorrow. Standard Park in Oildale will have one beginning at 11 a.m. Walk-ins are accepted. There is no pre-registration required. And free face masks will be handed out thanks to Adventist Health. For dates and locations, you can visit our website, turn to 23.com. And we want your Christmas decoration photos. Send us your displays, the address, and we'll add it to our Christmas lights map. That way, community members can drive around and admire your hard work. You can even vote for your favorite light displays. Send us an image or video to our Facebook page, our website, or just email them to us at news at KERO.com. All right, let's bring in Elena Russ and get a check of that Monday forecast. Good morning, Kern County. I'm Chief Meteorologist Elena Rusk, and we're very dry and relatively warm out there. This low pressure system sliding down over California brings some cloud cover, but no rain into the region. In fact, both our air and all of that dry brush on the ground critically dry with our next gusty offshore wind event. So the worst of the winds are up to the north over Yosemite, but we'll see our own offshore winds for today. 20 to 30 miles per hour sustained in the mountains, gust of 50 miles an hour or faster, especially through those mountain passes and over the mountain peak. So if we were to get a spark out there, a fire could quickly grow out of control. And even though tomorrow the winds aren't as fast, it's still critically dry and that offshore wind continues. So we need to stay fire aware for the next couple days. Doesn't do much for our valley air quality, though. Still unhealthy for sensitive groups. And that's a look at just some of the stories we're following on this Monday. Don't forget you can find breaking news, weather and traffic anytime, anywhere on the go by downloading our free mobile and tablet apps. We'll have another update for you right here later today.